I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit. Julia Child was a famous cookbook author and television chef, starring in shows spanning the course of four decades. See how to be the big boss of the big cheese souffle. Her message that preparing food could be a fun and creative outlet, not a chore, inspired Americans in the kitchen. I don't care what happens. The sky can fall and omelets can go over all over the stove. I'm going to learn. I shall overcome that sort of woman's liberation. Before becoming a famous TV chef, she worked for the CIA. This is the story of how a world-famous chef we all know and love started out as a CIA agent. Julia Child was born on August 15, 1912, in Pasadena, California. When the U.S. entered World War II, Julia was 29 years old and wanted to volunteer her services to her country. But at six foot two, she was too tall to serve in the military. Undeterred, Julia joined the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services. The OSS was the precursor to the Central Intelligence Agency. World War II came along. And in your generation, you don't realize that in mine, we were saving the world so that everybody that I knew was in the Army or the Navy or down in Washington. So that's where I went, and I got into the OSS. Julia, along with 4,500 other women, served her country in the OSS. After serving as a research assistant for the leader of the OSS, Julia moved on to work with the Emergency Sea Rescue Equipment Section of the OSS. It was there that she assisted with the development of the shark repellent, which played a critical role during World War II. Because sharks were setting off explosives targeting German U-boats, every explosive set off by a shark was one less explosive that could hit a U-boat. From 1944 to 1945, Julia's last two years in the OSS, she worked overseas in Ceylon, present-day Sri Lanka, and Kunming, China. She served as chief of OSS registry, handling confidential messages like those dealing with the invasion of the Malay Peninsula. So there we were in China, just friends having dinner, and <clears throat> and it turned out to be Julia. It turned out to be Julia all along. In 1944, while in Candy Salon, Julia met her husband to be fellow OSS officer Paul Child. Two years later, they were married. Paul and Julia moved to France in 1948 following Paul's assignment to the U.S. Information Agency. What should I do? I don't really want to go back into government work. Mm -hmm. you know, but shouldn't I find something to do? What is it that you really like to do? Eat. It was in France that Julia began her studies at Le Cordon Bleu, one of France's most prestigious culinary schools. She wrote one of the most revolutionary cookbooks to date, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, published in 1961. When you flip anything, you really, you just have to have the courage of your convictions, particularly if it's sort of a loose mass like this. She hosted cooking shows well into her 80s, a far cry from her life working for the OSS. Paul died in 1994 at the age of 92. Julia passed away two days before her 92nd birthday in 2004, leaving behind quite a rich and delicious legacy. This is Julia Child. Welcome to the French Chef and see you next time. Bon appétit.